Thank you once again for joining me in this time of prayer this week. It's my pleasure to lead us in prayer. I've got two prayers and then I'll pray a little myself. This first one comes from the National Council of Churches in Australia. It's written in this time of COVID-19. And the second one is a prayer that comes from the Uniting Church Assembly and also written for this uh, current environment. So let us come before God in prayer. Gracious God, we give thanks anew for your providence and presence. We prayerfully seek your grace amidst COVID-19 here and overseas. We pray for those in need of healing. We pray for your peace with those who are anxious or grieving. We pray you'll continue to strengthen and sustain all those who are serving in response. We pray for your Holy Spirit's discernment amidst the many choices and decisions facing our national community and medical leaders. We pray we might each might see quickly what more we can do to help those who are vulnerable. This prayer for our nation in the family of nations, with all that is on our hearts, we gather now and pray through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. As I said at the outset, that prayer was from the National Council of Churches in Australia. But this second prayer comes from the Uniting Church Assembly. It doesn't say who the author is, but it's off the Assembly uh, website. Let us pray. Loving and compassionate God, you call us to love our neighbours and to be bearers of your hope and grace in our world. Expand our hearts and vision to respond with compassion to those around us who are struggling in this time of uncertainty, anxiety, grief and suffering. Give wisdom and strength to our health workers and government officials as they provide leadership in bringing our country through this crisis. We bring before you and into our hearts and minds those whose work and income are uncertain. Those who feel isolated. Those who, fear, who are fearful of an unknown future. Those who are homeless and all those who offer them support and care. Those who are involved in aged care facilities, and in particular our agency leaders, staff and residents, and their loved ones. Businesses whose futures are uncertain. Their leaders and staff school staff and students, those with health conditions that put them at greater risk. Give wisdom and care-filled discernment to all our church leaders, our councils and local congregations, as we seek to creatively live out our worship, witness and service in ways that offer Christ's life-giving love and presence. Strengthen and sustain us to be your people, shaped by your abundant grace, bearers of your generosity and overflowing love. Through Christ, our light and hope, we pray. Amen. As I said, that prayer came from the Uniting Church Assembly. And let us continue in prayer. Loving and gracious God, we pray for the situation in Victoria. We give thanks 
that regional areas of Victoria have brought the coronavirus under control. And they've begun to open up and engage in life, get out in the community, get back to work. We give thanks for their progress. And we are thankful, Lord, for the progress in metropolitan Melbourne as the rate of infection has continued to fall. The numbers have been driven down and the hard work of our restrictions, the hard work of not being able to get out and about is bearing fruit. We pray for our community that we might continue to be patient, that we might look out for each other, that we might move forward together into a brighter future. Lord, we know we have challenging times ahead. Many are not working. Businesses are in serious difficulty. We pray for business leaders, for workers, for governments and government departments as they plan, as they prepare to bring Melbourne and Victoria back to life. But we also pray for those who continue with ill health, those in hospital. We pray for our health workers, give them strength in what is a very demanding time and environment for them to be working in. We give thanks for their dedication. And we now know that we're in a time of school holidays. We pray for schools, for principals, for teachers, for students and families as they prepare for term four, the final term of the year. For those in year 12 or doing VCE subjects, we pray for them. Also for VCAL subjects in what has been a challenging and difficult year. We pray for our community around Glen Waverley, for the people of this place, this multicultural part of Melbourne. We pray for our congregation, for its members, for the ministry team, for the church council. The church council meets this Wednesday night. May your spirit be with them as they meet. We give thanks that we're a part of your church family. We're a part of this congregation that we're able to worship and serve and live out our faith, encourage each other to live out our faith together. We pray for our families and friends. We give thanks that you journey with us, Lord. You are with us each day. We thank you for the reassurance of your presence. Through Christ we pray. Amen. Thank you once again for joining me in prayer. I'm really delighted that you join me each week and that we can spend this time in prayer together. And uh, may God bless you richly. Amen.